Hi, this is a can of Wild Pacific Sockeye Salmon, and I'm going to measure the radiation in this. This was packaged in the United States, product of the USA, and sold by Loblaws here in Canada. I'm just going to open this and drain out the water, and then take some measurements. This no-name salmon is probably the best to use for measurement because, as you can see, they just take a fish, grind it up, and slop it in there. So this got all the entrails from the fish and the bones and stuff. The places where you might expect radiation to accumulate. So I'll put my Geiger counter on there. It's stabilized at 0 .9, 0 0.09 microsieverts. And we'll see what kind of reading we get after a minute or so. So this Soaks Geiger counter is not the ideal instrument for doing this. It, it won't really say that the food is safe, but it will show you if the food is radically unsafe. So the radiation level hasn't changed from the, the background radiation. So I'd have to say there's really nothing coming off of this salmon. I've been hearing a lot of rumors lately that uh, Fukushima is spilling a lot of radiation into the Pacific. But it doesn't appear to be accumulating in this Pacific salmon. So I would have to conclude that there's no radiation in this salmon and it's safe to eat.